My name's Danny Floyd Cole, and this is Over the Bridge, Artist Spotlight. The story behind the music, featuring my song, Marbles, the brand new single off of my record, Dream Your Destiny. It all started for me back in September of 2015. It was September 23rd, 2015. I went into treatment at an addictions treatment center. It was a 42-day program. And basically, I had been struggling um, with substance use for many years, and it had gotten to the point where um, I couldn't function from day to day without substances. Pretty much, I'd push the people away from me that, um, that cared about me the most, and everyone around me was, was frightened. And I can say that at that time, I didn't really feel afraid. Um, I figured that I was already on a spiritual journey and that I was going to be okay. And, you know, maybe I wasn't wrong, but uh, what I didn't recognize at that time is what I needed was dramatic and drastic change. So I went into a treatment center and 42 days later, um, at that treatment center, they give you a marble when you complete treatment and it was, uh, coincided with my mom's birthday. It was November 3rd, 2015. And that morning, um, when I was sitting in the cafeteria, this song came through me. And uh, the words kind of spilled out onto my page. And it was a song that turned out to be really important for me in my recovery. It was a song about transformation and I had the opportunity to perform it in a variety of different places where I would have normally never been performing. Basically, it's about a journey from, from uh, the shadow into the light. And in my instance, I use the analogy of transitioning from being a little boy into a man. I borrowed some, some lyric from a book that I had read in treatment by the author Dan Millman, The Way of the Peaceful Warrior. The medicine from that book for me was, when we lose our mind, we can regain our senses. So in the lyric in Marbles, uh, the chorus goes, I want to lose my mind, I need to find my man. If I could regain my senses, I might be able to stand. And the man, essentially, is that authentic self, that heart-based place uh, where I, I want to function from, uh, to be honest and real and authentic and, and truthful. I use the analogy of marbles because as a little boy, I used to play in elementary school, we played marbles, and it really was about taking other people's marbles from them. And so, you know, walking around with a big bag of marbles meant that you, you won. So I use that in the lyric as well. You know, I, I had a big bag of marbles, but I didn't understand. I was lost in the fog like a drowning man. I gathered up all of these things that I thought were uh, important to me, and then I lost everything. And, uh, and that allowed me to, to move forward to a place uh, where I am, where I stand today, where I feel like I've got um, a solid foundation in my recovery, and I'm able to go around and, and share a message of hope and, and strength and, um, and experience. When I was a little boy, everybody always called me Danny, and I'm, um, in treatment, I, I started using Daniel. I felt like Daniel was a man's name and Danny was this little boy. In the, the last section of the song, um, before the last chorus, it talks about um, the biblical references to Daniel in the lion's den and, um, and that challenge and that struggle. And ultimately, what we end up with is this place of acceptance that, you know, I've been given a choice on how I want to choose to live. And today I can use that choice and honor what my choice is uh, instead of going through the same cycle over and over again, feeling like I have no choice and I can't control my, uh, myself or my life. So it's a, it's a transition and it's a journey. And I just feel grateful that, um, you know, I'm able to share this music and share this message with people who maybe are struggling currently or maybe they're uh, not even aware that they want change in their life. Um, or maybe it, it's begun and things are going well for you. And, um, but it's, you know, especially early recovery can be a real challenge. At least it was for me. And music and writing was really what kept me uh, healthy. Um, you know, it was really a treatment where the songs started to spill out of me again, like they had when I was a little kid. You know, in my early teens, I used to write songs like crazy. It wasn't until you know, my mid-30s in treatment when that all kind of returned. And since then, I've been writing a lot more and recording more and just sharing what I've, uh, 
what I've got with with the world and it means a lot to me to be able to do that so